how is it november like how i feel like it was just august a couple of days ago and we're already in november we have like literally around 60 days left in the year let's get into this reset routine as always if you guys like these type of videos or any videos i post i post about content creator tips just monthly resets productivity money tips if you like any of that then please don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out let's budget for november i want to budget for the month of november and i wanted to share that with you guys i don't think i've ever done that so that we can be responsible with our money for this month that way for december's reset routine we can look at it and see if i went over or if i went under first off rent that is fixed i pay two thousand dollars that also includes like my water bill electricity and then that also includes internet as well now i split that with my boyfriend so my contribution would be one thousand dollars next we have food now if you guys didn't know i have celiac disease so i am gluten-free and if you guys didn't know gluten-free food costs an arm and a leg me and my boyfriend together, we typically spend $300 a week. So it's like $150 a week in groceries, which is not bad per person, obviously. And it's not bad. And I think I'll probably do like four cheat meals throughout the month, 30 bucks each time. So that's like $120. It's about like $720 for the month, which I think is not that bad. So transportation, my boyfriend actually works from home and he has flexible hours. So if I do actually have to go somewhere, he usually just drops me off. For me to Uber into the city is $100 every time, like back and forth. And if it's for, and the only time I even leave to the city is if I have a work event, which usually like brands cover the Uber. And if they don't, again, I would just ask my boyfriend because he works from home. He has flexible hours and it's $20 of gas to drive into the city with him than me going Uber. So we try to save that way. But of course, emergencies happen. He has meetings. And so I'm, I have to take the Uber. And so I will budget out $100. I personally don't have a car. It's my boyfriend's car and I just use it sometimes and we just split gas here and there honestly like we don't really track that like it's just whoever's whoever has a car they pump that's literally it so i'm just gonna budget and put aside like 200 dollars for no 300 dollars for uber and gas entertainment right now i'm more focused on just like my work and growing my account so i'm not really planning on doing anything crazy i do have one of my friends close friends birthdays coming up so a little gift for her so i'll budget out like 200 dollars. there's my birthday but me and my boyfriend were talking about doing maybe like a new york trip and we already have points and i'm most likely gonna try to land a hotel collab for that trip and ex in exchange for content because why not it's literally my job perks of being a creator literally so i think that if i can land that then so the only thing we have to budget is activities ubers and food also by the way i don't know if you guys know this company called revel which is kind of like uber but only in new york and san francisco and it is insanely cheap i had like a friend talk about it i'm gonna test it out because the rates are insane it's like like half of what uber is and you can even get like a day rate which is like insanely cheap compared to uber so i will test that out for you because if that is what i'm going to be using and if it's like good and safe which i think it is like i'm barely going to have any expenses for transportation probably put aside my contribution a thousand dollars i really don't think i'm going to need a thousand dollars for like three days because i don't plan on doing any shopping there so it's literally just like food transportation and then maybe like to get into like a concert or two or like an nba game because me and my boyfriend have been wanting to go to that but a thousand on my end a thousand on his end is probably all we need so yeah for fitness my gym membership is a about like a hundred dollars a month so i will be putting that aside again that's like fixed so shopping honestly i did buy a lot like a lot of stuff in october just for reviews and content so i don't think i need much for the month of november but I'll put aside $500 because you just never know. Okay, so this is my total. I don't know what it is, but you can see it on the screen. If I forget anything off the top of my head right now. I will add it on the screen and I'll put it in the total, obviously. So we will check back next month and see, you know, how the budgeting is, how much I actually spent and the progress and all that fun stuff. Okay, let's get into goal setting and look at my goals and just reflect on what I did last month, how much I achieved and all that. Okay, so let's reflect on on july i just said july 
I literally just said July. If you guys watched my last reset, I did a quarterly reset routine where I like kind of like made a plan for the next three months instead of doing like an October reset routine. I literally wrote down all the goals I wanted to accomplish in the next three months. So I'm just gonna pull up some of the goals and tell you guys like what the progress is and like where I didn't meet my goals. So for physical goal, I wanted to hit start hitting the gym six times a week, eat whole foods, drink water and two liters i was successful at eating at home like i ate out i only ate out once and it was like for one meal and it was like more like a snack like bar food type water unfortunately i'm not consistent with two liters a day but i would say in the last two weeks of october i really nailed it so i think november is going to be looking a lot more promising than october did i still can't believe october is almost done like that's crazy and then hitting the gym six times a week i actually got sick at the beginning of october a little bit to recover so i did not hit the gym six times a week in october i did started going more consistently in the last one and a half weeks and i've been hitting three to four times a week so i'm hoping that in november i can just weave my way into six times a week again like i mentioned in that video like i'm not trying to do anything crazy i'm not trying to go lift and become a bodybuilder i just want to go every single day and if some days that means walking on the treadmill for 20 minutes and then leaving that is okay with me i just want to get into the habit of going to the gym and moving my body and physically doing something every single day spiritual read a bible verse a day i did not do that and i am hoping i can do that for the next month i even mentioned last month that like i'm someone who like needs an app or i need something very easy these are tasks that i haven't done in years like i haven't touched a bible i haven't looked at a bible in years so like i'm not it's not gonna be as easy for me to like go out of my way and search it up whereas like i feel like if i download like an app and then it just gives me like daily reminders of like um like you know in the morning it gives you like a pop-up notification like a quote or something i think i want to like start there want to take baby steps when it comes to this reading some self-help books i wrote down five obviously that was for october november december so i haven't touched a book yet i actually started um finishing up a book that i had only read midway so i guess that counts as a half so i still have five books to read in the months of november and december so i'm hoping in november i do two because i know november is going to be a busy month with like all the content um last minute campaigns and preparing for like december vlogs and all that stuff so i think that in the last two weeks of december i feel like i can get more reading done because it's going to be a little bit more relaxed financial making a hundred thousand dollars to affiliate links and brand deals in the last three months like i mentioned i did secure around 20k i have not added to that revenue yet and i want to focus on affiliate links like gift guides and things like that there's the sephora sale coming around which is like a really big sale for beauty lovers so if you guys need to stock up make sure you guys stock up the sale is going live october 27th if you are a rouge member and then for vib and bi i think it's a couple of days after go off track um what i was meaning to say is that you know affiliate linking for the sale and sharing my favorites if you guys are interested in that as well i'll link like some of my favorites down below and so that is a way i want to be able to expand my income source i already do affiliate linking but i want to kind of make it like a bigger thing than it is credit card debt i i'm still waiting for a couple of invoices from like couple of months prior so once that comes in i will be just like paying it off again one of those things as a creator if you didn't know you don't actually get paid to like way later it takes anywhere between 30 to 90 days to get paid which is insane for a job you did like months ago but unfortunately that is part of being a creator which a lot of people don't realize and a lot of people assume like you know once we post our campaign we're balling we're this we're that i mean i'm not saying people aren't but definitely it takes time to get into our bank account. YouTube, okay, I wanted to hit 1K at the end of October. Guys, we are at 790 subscribers. You guys are insane. Like, I cannot believe I have 790 subscribers from long form content. Like, what? <laughs> Definitely, I'm filming this on October 24th. I'm hoping to get this up by tomorrow. So we still have six days left in the month and we need 200 subscribers. I think I can make it happen. I already have three videos in the drafts, like half edited, some fully edited. So I think if I post 
like six, seven videos in the next six days. Instagram growing to 100K. So with Instagram, I have don't know if I've ever mentioned this, but once you stop posting, once you stop being consistent, your algorithm is shit. That's what I did. I stopped for two weeks while I got sick. And now my algorithm is just like relearning what time I post out, who to give it to. So no, I am not anywhere near the goal of getting to 100K. And that was a goal for the next three months. But I have started to post consistently and I'm seeing my views slowly start coming up. So it's still a work in progress. Taking higher quality photos. I did four like photo shoots it's not really a photo shoot it was just my boyfriend taking pictures of me which is like still leaving the house and taking pictures outside is a photo shoot for me i just have to post them but those were done providing more links creating more high quality reels again those two things i'm just getting my account back up and running so i think that um starting november 1st i think that would be a good time to transition into it once like you know my followers are actually seeing my posts and then my main tiktok account getting consistent views and just bringing more brand awareness still working on it i know that's going to be the hardest task because obviously rebranding is one of the hardest things you can do i think it's harder than even growing a new account personally that's like a goal i'm probably not going to assess till like end of december to be honest with you guys and then my second tiktok account posting like more lifestyle content i have not been able to get to that goal yet but i have had five to six videos edited so i'm hoping that i can just start posting it starting november 1st it's hard to like edit and post in real time like these posts were done these were filmed like two weeks ago but again i just want to have like a batch of content and then i can just keep posting it because no one else knows that i filmed that two weeks ago and then i also wanted to create a new instagram account i have the page i just haven't started posting it yet it's gonna be a little bit more in line with this youtube account and just giving like creator tips creator growth tips how to monetize all that fun stuff so if you guys want to check it out i will link it down below as well okay those were my career goals i think i went over career financial spiritual and physical which were a lot i am headed in the right direction i wouldn't say that i accomplished all my goals but i think that we're off to a good start i actually created a november notion to keep track and just have it as an overview because you guys already know i own like 50 planners mention it in literally every single video but i think that having an overview really helped me i actually didn't do one for october and i was like nope not this time so i'm going to share with you guys my notion template for november and i'm actually going to make it public so you guys can access it and you guys can use it as well for the month of november okay guys we have our november 2023 notion reset template right here again this is a free template i'm going to provide make sure you guys check out the link in the description box and yeah it's kind of similar to my august reset routine if you guys were here for that i made it really simple i didn't really go too crazy with this reset i wanted to be like really simple and just to the point and i only have here like key things i want featured in my routine obviously you can go ahead and make it more detailed you can add to this uh template like you don't need to keep it as is you can play around with it as well but this will at least give you like a backbone on getting started with notion and just being able to organize your life okay right off the bat i just have these three pictures right here defining consistency mindset and grind i think those three terms are really important for the last two months of the year okay i'm just zooming in like i'm not gonna read it but i think these are really good reminders for you to look at when you log into your notion every single day and be like okay what am i doing why am i doing this okay let's go down next i have a month in review which is pretty much just a calendar view i love seeing things on a bird's eye level perspective and i feel like when you see the month on a zoomed out scale it just makes things a lot easier so here i don't really have much added in i'm gonna go in and personalize it later this is just like a template but here like i have posted a youtube video it's actually my birthday month this month which i don't know why i didn't remember till like right now by the way guys i always try to take off my birthday even when i was working like a nine to five like i would always take off my birthday like please use that vacation day treat yourself stay at home lay in bed i don't care what you do do not do not work on your birthday so here you can obviously go in and manually add like an item or like an event and just write down what the event is you can even here have it 
marked as not started or in progress or done if it's like a project or like a video you need um, uploaded. So that is my monthly calendar. And then if you scroll down, I've actually added November goals. So here you're just going to write down all the goals. And I like this template because in the next column, it actually has these like little tabs and you can write again, not started in progress done which really helps you see every time you log into your like notion and you look at your monthly routine, you can see, okay, like, is this not getting started on? Like we need to, we need to pick up the pace here. We need to like get into it. So I really like how you can kind of change that according to what your status is of that goal. And I've divided it up as always into financial, physical, career, um, yeah, so these three, you can add more. I think if you just go here, press this button, you can duplicate it and then it will literally copy it right under. And you can even add spiritual, social, whatever goals that you have. These are my main three sectors, I guess you could call it. So I'm just going to keep it here. I just started writing down some of the goals I want to accomplish this next month, which is like earn 20K, save 7K, physical gym five to six times a week, water two liters a day. And then we have here just career, just some things that I want to get done for sure this month. Then if you go down here, I actually have a separate YouTube content calendar. The reason why is in the month of November, I want YouTube to be a bigger focus. And if you guys want to start your own YouTube journey, I think this is perfect. I think that writing out your video ideas, like here it says blog, Instagram, YouTube, it, it's just a template, but you can just delete that whole column. And just having set deadlines like, okay, November 5th, I'm going to post so-and-so video. And I maybe even like planning out all the videos you want to post for the month of November and then putting it in here just because it's such a big priority for me. I want a separate section. I want to know what I'm doing this month. I want to know exactly what to do. Like all of that, I want to be able to find it with my other goals and like things that I'm progressing on or not and be able to see if I'm getting it done or not. Also helps me keep in check. Like I mentioned this in my previous Notion videos, like you want to, the purpose of Notion is you want to look at it every single day. That's why I've made this layout. You want to look at your goals every day. You want to look at your month in review every day. You want to look at what's some of the most important things you have to get done because the more you see it you're like okay no I need to film this specific video today because it needs to get out by like November 10th right like Q&A session with our team as you can see here it needs to come out November 10th it's November no it's November 8th and I have nothing done for it it's just a little push to help you keep on task with that now this is youtube you don't need to keep it youtube you can do instagram you can do pinterest you could do facebook whatever is your main thing you can make it that and you can even like i said you can duplicate it and make it for every single platform that's up to you and that's what i love about notion when you download someone else's template you can still customize it which is so cool here i literally have this quote three times which is don't spend another year doing the same shit the last two months of the year are not going to go for the same things that we do every single year. Do something different. Get the things that you've been wanting to do your whole life done a lot harder in our heads than it is to actually do it. And I think that once you start doing things and getting on your grind, I think you're going to look back and be like, why did I not do this before? Okay. And then lastly, I have a monthly expense tracker. This is the most like simplest form of expense tracker that I came up with. This is just a very like simple outline you can make it way more complex if you wanted to you can add more categories you can add more rows like whatever you want here I have like budgeting so this is how much I'm budgeting for groceries dining out utilities run transportation entertainment shopping health fitness savings other taxes if you are self-employed and your total of what you think is going to be allocated for those things and then the actual amount you spend on and you can see where like your numbers don't match up this can be done the budget amount can be done at the beginning of the month and then you can go back in and write the actual amount and see where you're spending more where you're spending less where can i improve where am i doing a good job and budgeting and tracking your expenses is very important especially if you're self-employed so getting into the habit of it that's why I made like a very simple one because I wanted it to be beginner friendly I wanted it to be not overwhelming for someone who just 
wants to keep it very simple and I think this was like the simplest outline I can come up with so hopefully this helps you guys but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this November reset routine it is a new month new time to set goals achieve goals we are in holiday season it's like the best time of the year let me know in the comments below what you guys want to see next if you guys want to see more videos like this i have so much planned for the next two months for youtube so make sure you guys are subscribed so you don't miss out and as always i will see you guys next time